This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043. Welcome back. Uh, her new EP is called Outlaw, and she is from Phoenix, but based in L.A. right now, I think. Is that correct, Devorah, who is with us in the studio now? Yes, based in San Diego. Oh, nice, nice. You have the honor of being the first in-studio interview since the pandemic started. I'm so, thank you so much. Absolutely. I mean, it feels really good to be back in a studio. Oh, um, I hear that. So tell me about Phoenix. I mean, Obviously, it's very hot, especially this time of year. But um, I think, uh, you, you, where, were you born in Phoenix? I was actually uh, born in New York. And when I was uh, very small, like two or three, we moved to Arizona. Oh, okay. So, Got yeah. It. So, yeah. What's, it life, what's life like there, high school and school and just growing up there? My childhood was filled with just a lot of strange people from a lot of different places. There's a lot of... Uh, Arizona sort of breeds uh, um, an area where, kind of similar to L.A., where people from all different places, like, gather, and you and it's... So it's a rarity when someone says they were born and raised, perhaps, in Arizona. Um, you know, is it a place that people just tend to go to, as opposed to, like, get born there? Mostly on the outskirts of, of Phoenix and Scottsdale. Like, like if you get more to the rural areas, that's where people are born. But in the cities, not so much. I'm just thinking of this uh, Breaking Bad. I'm thinking of Breaking yes. Bad. Yes. I know that's New Mexico, but... Uh, You're not far off. That's, really? That's the vibe for sure. With a little more, um, uh, like, retirees and um, golf courses and a little bit, like, imagine, like, Breaking Bad, but with some, like, vacation destination like resorts sprinkled in there. right well, well you have alice cooper yes right he's mm -hmm. in the phoenix area i think right oh i forgot yeah and then rob halford from judas priest i think also oh my gosh yeah um well i read this description of you that uh, after watching your videos i kind of sort of agreed with it it's just describing you in the video specifically for not dead yet as Goth Western Pamela Anderson meets Mars Attacks. <laughs> did you did you see that quote? I did actually, and that that quote came from my uh, um, an amazing uh, director that I worked with, this uh, phenomenal actress Levin Rambin. Um, we actually just wrapped another video, and um, yeah, she that's her. That's we, her description. That's her description, and and it's so so spot on. Um, well, I like it. Uh, your Instagram, though, says goth Dolly Parton. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> well, on this new EP, it's a, it's on a label started by Tony Hoffer, who has a pretty awesome track record as a producer and engineer. Yeah, he's um he's done a lot of amazing work. Like a lot of back, like who else? Like a lot of people. M eighty three, uh, KT Tunstall. Um, he's done. Oh my gosh. Uh, so many, so many things, so many amazing things. It's it's unreal. And you, uh, these songs are you you write these songs, but with help from other people, some some co-producers or engineers that you work with. I work with uh, two producers, um, two producers based in New York, actually. Oh, um, okay. And they, uh, <sighs> these guys, Cass Dillon and Alex Aldi, and they're amazing. They basically when I came to them with this vision they were able to you know I, ca I came with them to with I came to them with stories and lyrics and poems and um and visuals like lots lots and lots of visuals and they took that with me and we turned it into you know, you know what it reminded yeah. me of are you familiar with uh Rob Zombie and White Zombie no way you're not the first person to say that that's so funny it's yeah. kind of like horror, scary kind of not the music, but like the videos that you that accompany the music. Yeah, I was reminded so much of White Zombie and Rob Zombie. That's so I mean, funny. he's gotten crazier and crazier and cooler and cooler over the years, obviously. Yeah. Um, but uh, you shot a live video for the song "Not Dead Yet" right here in New York City mm -hmm. at the Bowery Electric. Yes. Now, now I'm assuming. I didn't see an audience, so that was during the pandemic. I, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, that was that was during the pandemic, like in the in the heat of it. It was in October last year, and um, man, it was it felt so good to to be back up on stage and and under the lights again. Um, but it was definitely uh, 
you know, there was like two people in the audience. Right. It was a little yeah. strange. Camera people, sound yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Um, the first song that I got from you was a song called Body Bag. As you know, I played it on this show. Um, Body Bag, the lyrics are pretty, you know, direct and straightforward. Uh, was this based on a true story? And what did this person do to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, um, it was definitely about a, a past a relationship in my past that I had. And um, at the time I wrote it, I was just so undeniably over the top frustrated and, and just, I didn't even have it in me at that point to mince words or like, you know, make it even sound poetic. It was just like, I'm going to put you in a body bag. <laughs> that's, that's just, that's all I can. Well, as a songwriter, you guys are lucky. And I've said this to uh, other artists, like, you know, you, you can just put it all out there. You don't have to hire a therapist. I yes. Mean, you know, you can if you want, but you know, you can just write the lyrics down and write this really, really great song. Yeah. Um, the video for this song I read on your Facebook, I escape a prison, bury a body and have a seance in the desert. Yes. <laughs> so what's next? Uh, I'm hoping a tour. I'm hoping for a show in New York City because I want to see these songs played live. Yeah, we've got some some exciting things in the works um, on the East Coast, on the West Coast uh, to to be deter- to be announced. Right. Um, coming so up. we will have a New York City show. Yes. You yes. Can just melt our faces at the New York City show. Yes, I I can't wait. It's gonna Man. be. Fantastic. Uh, her name is Devora. The new EP is Outlaw. Everyone go out and get it. What's the website again, Devora, for, uh, or the Instagram or whatever that people should, people should go to to find out all the info on you? Uh, the Instagram is Devora Music XO, and the website is www.devoramusicxo.com. Got it. Devora, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jonathan.